Today we're checking out Songs of Six. This is a grand scale city-state colony civilization manager. It's a huge game where it's a lot like RimWorld, albeit with more pixelated graphics, uh, and the ability to manage like 10,000 people rather than just 10. So this game is grand in scale and it's a very ambitious project. It's by, I believe, a solo dev, Gamatron AB. Um, and it's in early access and on Steam since 2020, but I've been meaning to check it out for quite some time. Um, there's not a lot of content on this game versus like a Rimworld or a Kenshi. Uh, I believe it's $24.99, but it's got a big demo. Um, there's still planned things for the game are supposed to be like nobilities, empire management, health campaign, and actually a proper tutorial because it is a little bit hard to get into this game right now. And it took me some time. I had to watch um, Splattercat do it a while back. And Quill has recently been doing a really good series on it. I don't know quite how long I'm going to go. I'm figuring we won't get all to the we won't get to all the game systems in this video. Like I haven't even done combat at all yet, but I know how to get a basic civilization set up and started. And there's a lot of things I can point out to you that I wouldn't have been able to before. And I, I just really want to stream it now because I've been spending like four or five hours learning, and I just really want to get set up. Um, so this is going to be like a little intro. I'll probably do a little bit of labeling on this VOD just so you kind of have some idea of where the gameplay is beginning because we're going to be setting up the world, we're going to be getting everything ready in kind of a dwarf fortressy way. So there might be a little bit of matter in that. Um, but the dev seems very transparent, communicative, and open and committed to the game. Look, in this game you can speed time up so fast. You can go to, I believe it's 250 times speed. So you never really have to wait for any task to be done. But we're looking down at a world full of people. We have a human colony. And they've set up all their homes and apartments, um, their throne room, where they would put a trophy. If they had a trophy, <laughs> uh, um, they have, like, carpentry, a laboratory where they do science, lavatories, uh, warehouses, and all other kinds of good services and facilities to keep them happy. But our goal is to get a lot of migrants in and set up a thriving colony here. Um... I have some idea of what's going on around me, but again, there are parts that I'll probably just blank on because I'm still learning this game. So just, uh, you know, word of warning before we start this VOD, there is going to be that. Maybe later on I'll go back and do a more proper once I've fully learned the game, but I, I think for the next two to three hours I should be good getting things set up. So if you want to follow along, feel free, turn on the game, give it a try. Uh, there is a big demo if you want to just give it a shot. Uh, no harm in that. And I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Let's go back out to the main menu. This is a colony that I had been working on, but it turned out that this location had, like, no trees. I'll explain what all of the icons on screen mean again, which have basically no labeling. Uh, and kind of, honestly, kind of makes the game hard to get into, I found. So it's taken me some time to, like, muster the gumption to give this a try. But, um, yeah. Anyway, let's go back out to play. And I'm going to turn back on stream notifications because we are streaming this. We have a little bit of a backseat in chat going on right now. Um, I might open myself up a little bit more to chat as we go, but let's go back to play. Um, the tutorial is somewhat helpful. The examples give you other civilizations that have been completed. You can look at those for yourself if you want to. I'm going to make a huge world. Latitude Central will go raids 10%. I don't think we'll be dealing with any com uh, combat. And I'm going to go ahead and play as humans just because... I'm a human, and I think I know what we do, more or less, so I have some idea of what's going on around me. But we can import people of other um, races and, and groups. So let's go ahead and do... We can pick titles, so there is like sort of a roguelite element to this game, but I believe this is about the extent of it. And it gives us just very various bonuses for our civilization. So we increase productivity of workshops. That's useful for our carpenters earlier on, which we'll see. Um, and we've got 1,500 happy people, so this improved our settle and knowledge. Okay, the knowledge might be helpful. Um, uh, yeah, it says that I have more, but I don't. So what we're looking for on this world map, this is a lot like Dwarf Fortress, is we're trying to find kind of like a fertile valley. We've found a place that seems pretty decent for our colony with mountains and forests. It's got a decent number of ores, and I just... Well, I had a colony that had no wood in it, so that was a worry. All right, so I think that we've found a pretty decent place uh, for our throne room. So we're here, and this is the overmap of the region we've selected. Uh, this is kind of like the smaller chunk of the world that we're in, where we have a zoomed-in version of our mountain. This is all mountain overhead. These are caves where we could traverse inside of the mountain. These are all forests, and it's kind of like looking down at Minecraft from above. 
much like in Dwarf Fortress. You know, we could zoom in on the trees and I can trigger some kind of like pixel tree animation. Imagine this is a tree from overhead. Why is everyone moving about and and um, uh, milling about, really? Well, I, I, I do have a list of tasks I want to complete. So let's go ahead and put in um, the very first thing we want to create is a warehouse. So. Well, actually, even before that, I just kind of want to set out what the grid of my civilization is going to look like. Now, I do like having a grid in this game. And since the throne room has a three-wide entrance, I think it's natural to make a, a long three-wide road coming out of it. And in fact, they'll get a lot more work done with than that. So let's have this thing go really far out from our main area, just so that our workers have something to do. Uh, and they're all kind of lying around. We're viewing them from way above. And we can really get any information we want on any of these people. But right now... We have 55 humans, and they're not very happy. They're growingly more unhappy by the moment. So we need to go ahead and set out some services for them. But chances are some of them are going to leave us before they start rejoining our population. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just make a warehouse. Let's have it somewhere right in the middle because they do need to get to and from this warehouse. And let's also go ahead and see where the wildlife is on this map because we're going to probably be having some hunter lodges around. So I'm seeing a little bit more on the left side. Um, that seems a bit more open, so I'm going to go ahead and put the warehouse, how about like right here-ish. And now another thing that you're going to notice in this game is that there's a lot of 6x11, um, I'm thinking 6 wide would be pretty good, and we can make this building very long, long boy building, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, I am going to set this out on a grid, and I'll give a little bit of space from our throne room. In fact, actually, let me just remove that and rebuild it. Let's go right about here. I want to be very careful with these first few buildings just to make sure I don't get too much in the way of anything. So I think we'll go again with about the same size. Let's go by 12. Let's go, I think it was 6 by 12 I did, right? Yeah, so there. Now, warehouses can be huge in this game, but I've worked for something a little bit more just like, I suppose, conservative here. In fact, we're going to have to make it seven. So let's just expand our building here. And what you're seeing in the white there is the outer walls. So those don't actually get built for you. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and put in a bunch of crates into this room. Two, three. Um, let's just expand it out a little bit more. I want to make sure that the room still has good isolation so that we don't make the roof cave in or anything. So I'm not going to try to make this building too big at the center. We could put in support pillars. Um, but there's just so much to consider here. It's a lot like RimWorld in that way, if you think about that system. And uh, let's put in another one. So there we fit five crates in there, and we're going to go ahead and put some doors into this. Now, we don't want to ruin the isolation, because then it gets harder to maintain the building and so on and so forth. So we'll just be careful with that. Let's put in like a double doorway there, single doorway, single doorway, and maybe like a double doorway there. Uh, we did lower the isolation for that, so let's just keep that at 100%. We won't get quite so ambitious with that. And let's speed time up again. Noise pollution. Yeah, so there's a lot of things to consider. So humans, uh, let's look at what humans are like. So they have all these needs. They, um, um, there's more about like wrongful deaths and law and stuff like that. But you can kind of see how our humans are happy uh, right now. Um, what, I'm tr what I'm trying to say is that there's a lot of them and they don't like it to be quite so crowded until we have like more services set up. So they have those needs. Um, we aren't fully meeting a lot of these needs right now. Let's go to one I understand a little bit better. So access. So this will start to meet more of their needs and we'll start to fill up this bar and make them happier if they have houses that are, um, uh, that have wood flooring in them, for example, or furniture in them, or a lot of fabrics or jewelry or pottery. Any of these things is going to make them happier, but they also require maintenance. So you want to wait until you've got your economy expanded out. And there they all go to work, 55 humans. And what this red flashing means is that they're getting more and more unhappy right now. Now, eventually, this will equalize out. Um, a lot of this is me paraphrasing what I've learned from Quill's video because I was trying to understand it. And some of it I do understand myself, but he did a really good job explaining the UI. So quick shout out to Quill and Splattercat for that again. Um, I just think he did a very good job explaining all of the intricacies of the game. Let's get into... Okay, so they have a place to put all of their goods. Let's go ahead and put in some housing now. So I'm going to give these humans apartments because they are the most private. And humans, I'm trying to remember where it was that I found this. Was it an environment? They like their privacy. 
Um, I can't remember exactly where it said. I do believe that this is true. So it, it only makes sense to me that we would want to give them the most private possible housing. Um, I don't really know where is the best possible place to put this, but I've seen in example colonies just big rows of uh, apartments all lined up one next to the other. So let's go ahead over to where we at the building menu. I really need to do more of these hotkeys, um, but I'm just going to do everything through the menus for now. So I can expand or shrink the area that we're building with Q and E here. And these are like prefab structures, which honestly keeps our life just a little bit simpler. And I like that. I'm totally fine with that if they want to do that in this game. Um, I could rotate here. Let's see if we can get it to the same width as this thing. Yeah, we can. So let's go ahead and put our housing across from the warehouse. I just think that would be a nice way to lay things out. So we'll do two. And we are going to need quite a lot of housing because I've given them just these apartments because I want to make sure they have plenty of privacy. And before you know it, we're going to have tons of people in this colony. So we've handled that. Housing. Um, trust me, they should have enough resources for all this so i'm not too worried about that i'm just going to build out more dirt roads another thing that you can see is these like kind of brightness maps which shows where your people are walking uh like the most frequently i believe that there is a Rimworld mod for this but it's built into this game so that's pretty neat i thought um uh the game started it started in 2020 was it just on steam in 2020 and it had been a project before that i'm not 100 percent sure um, I believe this pro- I mean, obviously, it must have been older than that. But it's a very neat project indeed. And you'll start to see more of the ambitions of this developer as we go through all the systems of this game. And I think he's executing everything really well. Let's go ahead and give some clear all orders so that they get out the rocks and the trees in this area. Because we're probably just going to be building all over here. And so far, I haven't seen any disadvantage to this. Now, it does do square by square. And I think it's either one or two wood that they harvest from each tree. Uh... Excuse me. So let's also to go down here because we're probably going to be putting in a hunter's hut and we want to make sure that we're going to start to, well, actually feed our people as we go here. So I'm just going to give them a lot of work. That's great because right now we're at one time speed. We could pause. We could go up to two times speed. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. This is actually, I'm not sure if this is technically two times speed. But watch what I what happens if I do this. If I press four again on my on my keyboard, they go into like light speed at work. So I really want to make sure that I give them tons of work before I really speed them up to that level. Because um, you aren't really waiting around a lot in this game, which is really nice that uh, you're allowed to do that. Anyway, we are also going to need a well, and I think we're going to create like some kind of um, like forum area here where they can meet. Now, I'm not sure about how these wells work if they're all, like, right next to each other, if that doesn't help them. But I've noticed that putting four of them next to each other seem to decrease effectiveness. Again, not 100% sure about that. I'm still kind of figuring out some of these things. I'll just put in one for now. Uh, hunter cabin. So, if we zoom out on the map, and if we look at these white dots, these are all of the wild animals around our uh, base. We can kind of zoom in on one of them. An hour rock. So, there's 86 meat and 54 pelts. Um, they all have various amounts. Some of them are young. Some of them are old. What else have we got? More Auroch over here. Is there anything different? Okay, we have some Denoris. Denoris? Um, there's a, quite a lot of different wildlife. I think we have, like, bug things. No, these are Globdians. Okay, so, like, lizardy things. But we're going to go ahead and just put out a hunter's cabin, uh, let's say, like, at the head of this river, because that way the hunters can easily access this side or this side, and there's a lot of wild stuff here. You know, normally I would put this kind of further out in our civilization, but at least it has easy access to the warehouse. Um, and it is at sort of a crossroads. So let's begin with this, too. Um, um, hunter. Okay, so this, this place doesn't need to be huge. And I don't really want to, like, overhunt all the wildlife here. So let's just do this. Let's try for 10 by 6. And we can always kind of revise this as we go. Um, actually, let's... I don't want it blocking the river. Let's do, how about, here? we could also share walls. So you are pretty flexible with that stuff in this game. Yeah, let's just allow them to be slightly closer together. Let's do like 6 by 10. Let's give that a shot and see what that would look like. So if we do workbenches here, and what is this for? This would be for four hunters. So even that seems like a lot. Let's see if we can just do... Eh, maybe that would be okay. All right, let's give that a try. Four hunters, and then we'll just make a really big auxiliary station just to increase the efficiency of this entire building. I think that would be nice. 
Um, we'll put that there and we'll put in some doorways. Again, we don't want to lower the isolation because we don't want to raise the maintenance too much, but I think just two doorways should be enough. Um, is Does it have easy access to this thing? Well, we do want to store some of the meat in there. I think that would be good. Meat does spoil. Um, have I ever played Space Exploration in Factorio? I've not, but I feel like that that's a very similarly intellectually demanding game. I, I'm really making this video for the people who want a deep, like, science gameplay experience. You know what I mean? Like, I love these games. I, I deeply love these games um, that have so much involvement in them. So I think you'll be right at home here. But yeah, like, so many good games like that on the list. Anyway. Um, I don't think we'll be engaging in cannibalism. Some races don't mind it as much as others. I can't remember where it is. Humans, like, not so crazy about cannibalism. Uh, is it under their services? Happiness? Now, they do have other services that they would like. Starving, cannibalism. I believe it's another, maybe it's under properties, cannibalism, here. There's so many menus and, like, actually a dizzying amount of information. I probably just passed over their attitude about cannibalism, which I can assure you they aren't that crazy about it. But yeah, every race kind of has its own, like, pickiness about certain things. Like, humans don't like working with the insect uh, ranches and other stuff like that. Like, you can have, a, like, a multiracial civilization. That can be helpful. But also, too, you got to manage it, right, based on everybody's kind of, like, pickiness. It's kind of like... Uh, it's kind of like Star Wars, I suppose. Yeah, Star Wars. Let's go with that. So anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and get out more services. I think I'm just going to keep building things at random because, uh, well, it worked out for me before. But also, too, I'm hoping that we don't hit any kind of, like, um, like any type of bottleneck in our building. that can really hurt in this game, and it can happen. Um, let's go ahead and put this here. And can we fit in another one of these things? I think if we just expand this building a little bit more, maybe by like one here. Good, we didn't uh, ruin the isolation. See, the roof here is still supported. It's blue. So we do that. And voila, we have more eating going on. So this is going to be their eatery. This is going to be what... Whoops. You can always undo so easily. Almost too easily in this game. Sometimes even I am frightened of how easily things can be undone. Uh, cannibal info is shown under the info for race, race, race. Maybe there? Did I show it under properties? Even I can't see where it is. Well, either way, you can use your eyes. It, it was it was in there somewhere, though. But thank you. Um, different races are efficient at different jobs. There's so much micromanagement you can do. It's, it's true. Like, you can get very much into the, or in the weeds in this game. Like, we can see everything about one individual guy. He even has his own sprite face. Um, but yeah, well, a little bit more on that later. We're going to just kind of treat everyone as, let's generically call them the unwashed masses. Uh, because we're more worried about just what the overall civilization is doing. So they aren't actively hating their lives as much as they were before. Um, access, we can increase this, uh, satisfaction level if they have more roads. They do have a need for roads. Um, home privacy, so they don't really have their homes yet, so let's... Let's let them get a little bit of work done. We'll speed time up a little bit more. Um, we also kind of want to get a woodcutter somewhere in here, too, because we could just keep chopping down the forests forever, but I think we will save this because we do need... Um, well, what we need next is a carpenter because we're going to need to start creating furniture. Um, and a lot of these things are locked right now, but we can start to improve that as we get a laboratory. But if we want to get a laboratory, we're going to need... I believe this is under work, crafting... Ah, carpenter. So we need to consider where are we going to be importing a lot of the wood? Well, probably into our warehouse. And let's speed up times so that we can start to account for some of these goods. I'm going to go ahead and start to build the carpenter's office over here. Now, is this good? We haven't ruined the isolation. People can still get through on this road. Uh, and I want to make sure that this is a, a, a big building because we're going to be need to, needing to do quite a lot in here. Um, uh, how many people can this employ again? Hmm. Will we have enough room for the auxiliary station if I do this? Apparently not. So let's actually expand out this building even slightly more. You said it couldn't be done. Apparently we're able to build over water there because it didn't stop me. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm a bad man. Well, even if I am. 
Here we go. Auxiliary station. Good. We haven't ruined the isolation. Let's go ahead and put in some doorways. Um, I'm thinking there so that they have easy access to the, this thing. And then maybe one there and one there. And maybe one even over there. Right when you didn't expect it. Okay, so we're going to need to hire a lot of people as carpenters because they do use up a lot of furniture. I'm not going to lie. Like, this was a bottleneck for one of my earlier civilizations. Let's give them some time here. Okay, so now they're living in their apartments. Um, Fernifola Puff Rat. There are some really good names here, if we can spot any of them. Emma Merrick. Not really, but you appear to be a man named Emma. That's unexpected. Um, Violet Redash. I don't know. I like their kind of bizarre faces. I don't know about you. Now, these apartments are vacant, but now these ones have been filled. Now, if we allocate them some resources to plank and furniturize their houses, their houses will actually start to show that furniture showing up in the houses. Um, so just kind of a neat visual thing. You know, we get like a little lamp here. I'm not sure if that actually indicates anything. Uh, but pretty much everybody is still an odd job. Let's just give them some time. I may have given them too many tasks at once, so I'm going to speed up to 250 times. Look at them just mow through that whole forest. Isn't that satisfying? Okay, so we're just about done with the warehouse. Um, yes, it's done. So we're going to go ahead and auto-employ delivery men to this warehouse, and I'm just going to do something that... Um, this is a little bit generic of me. How basic, you're probably thinking. Well, yes, I'm not afraid to be a little bit basic in front of you, but I'm going to go ahead and just allocate one crate. And it's a little bit, like, nauseating that I have to do this for every single place. Like, why can't I just designate it as this type of place? But, you know, I pretty much I'm going to have to do this once and then probably not much again. Now, wh how many crates did I just allocate? I allocated one crate for every single good, so that's 33 crates because there's 33 different types of items. Now, um, we do have some of them. Like, I know that all the resource counts on the side show that we have nothing, but that's not true. It's just that we haven't accounted for them in our warehouses yet. So, we need to... It's kind of like in Dwarf Fortress how you have an accountant, right? I believe that this is... Or, what is it, a bookkeeper? I, I haven't really gotten this far in Dwarf Fortress yet, but yeah, you need to account for the goods that you have. So, we have 639 wood in this stockpile. We also have just a ton of wood lying out in the fields from the trees that we've chopped down, but we haven't accounted for it yet. Now, I know that we're going to need a lot of wood because we're going to need to create furniture and all of that other crap. So let's go ahead and just up the number of crates that we're using. So yeah, we've now allocated, I believe it's three. Um, let's make that like, that is only going to give us 765. Now it's 1,020 for wood. Let's also up that number for stone a bit. So 1,020 for each. Let's give them like, okay, 1,275. It's probably going to be even higher, but that's 41 crates and who knows what else we'll need. Let's give them that time. Phew. That was a lot of talking and explaining. Um, let me just kind of go back to my checklist to make sure we're doing everything for this civilization. As my people start to now employ themselves in other uh, areas. So do we have anybody else employed? We have 51 in our workforce. Workforce. Uh, we need four. Um, have people gone on to other jobs yet? Like, do we have... We have one delivery man. Has anybody... Well, I'll give them some time to do this. I believe we have some cooks, too. We'll auto-employ our cooks. So far, I have liberally used the auto-employ. Phew. Okay. So, we've stored away our resources, or that is happening right now. People are come. People be coming in with the resources. Now, we've got things like rations. These are pretty much uh, the foods that we use in the army. I'm also going to go ahead and just do one thing really quick. I'm going to have them harvest wild edibles because I don't want to use up those rations because, again, that's like for my army. That would be like eating packaged survival meals all the time in RimWorld. You just don't need it. That would be like eating astronaut food for breakfast, you know? You simply, you're not going to space. Like, you're just going to school today. So um, stop eating that astronaut ice cream. Now, I'm going to pretty much tell them to just harvest everything here because I want them just going around the world and collecting food. Maybe it's too much, but I haven't noticed this, like, kill my workload and workforce. Um, so I'm just going to go through with it. All right, so let's go ahead and see, check in our uh, main area. So they are bringing fruit in because I believe we had some fruit to start. Yes, that's right. So they've pretty much just been eating fruit from the beginning. Wild edibles. <laughs> 
I, I guess consumables, yeah, maybe edibles wasn't the right word there. Um, a little bit misleading, to be fair. But here we go. So they are harvesting these things, and we could build over them, but I think I'll just leave them there. Um, and actually, this looks like a great spot to just have a like a wood, a wood thing going on. This now, game looked promising. How it's coming along? I'm liking it so far. I I agree. It does have a, a pretty big learning curve, though. But we're well, we're getting through it. Um. So I believe it's under work. We've got the wood cutter. I'm going to do this because uh, we have optional furniture. I think we do want that for our auxiliary storage. And I'm just going to have a wood cutter over here. Now, this is the maximum size for a wood cutter. So what you're seeing there is how big the wood cutter could possibly be, which is a decent size. Um, I believe that they will, like, replant stuff in here, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to go ahead and just... Let's have this be, like, a nice, thick boy wood cutting area and I think I'm just going to shrink this down slightly so that I could get a two two wide road going along there and then we will expand it just slightly more does it actually show us the limit of our expansion okay um yeah we don't need to go so ambitious but that's pretty good so that's a nice squareular area uh, we're gonna go ahead and pad that with storage and I guess we'll put that closer to our other things. We could clear out the trees. Eh, I'm just feeling kind of lazy at this exact moment, so let's just do this. Give them plenty of auxiliaries just to increase the efficiency. Um, I think that'll be fine. Now, we don't have any of the furniture. Furniture is now required. We need 52 stone and 28 furniture, but you'll probably notice that we don't have any furniture. Where is the furniture, you might ask? Hey, hey? Um, we're getting to that. So we're going to have to make that. Which is why I've made a very big carpentry workshop. And let's go it again. That automatically auto employs. This is great. We've got 12 carpenters working in here. That seems like a lot. 12 is a very high number. I can hardly think of any number higher than that. So we're, we're at the top of my knowledge right now. The top of the knowledge. Um, let's see. So we've got the woodcutter. Let's go ahead and have them make more roads over here. I think we'll just go one <clears throat> nice, nice big road around this entire thing. There we go. Had to clear my throat there for a second. Didn't mean to scare you. Um, sometimes it scares people. Mm. Woodcutter until you get 200 plus pop. Yeah, I mean, really, I, I think it's kind of overkill for me to do this right now. But at the same time, I just want to designate an area that they can cut wood that's right in the middle of my whole production work chain. Maybe I could have done it over here, but I just saw a good opportunity over here. So I seized it. I seized it. Oh, wait, no, I meant to say soiled it. Well, I didn't soil it. But here we go. We've got some wood going on here. Um, now, what we could start to do is if we see that we have excess of any goods, we could start to export them. I might not do that just yet because I don't really see the point of it. Um, actually, but let's just get our export depot ready just in case. Um, I'm not sure how big we really want this thing to be, but I guess we'll put it near our warehouse. And maybe like... By the plaza, I figure. So the plaza over here for people to kind of convene in. And then we have a trade area over here. Now, this does get limited by... Like, you can only have so many goods. Let's just make it as wide as the rest of our civilization. Here we go. Nice wide export depot. Who doesn't like that? Um, must not be placed on room. We're good there. And then I guess we'll have, like, one import depot. Because, you know, uh, the duality of man... Don't really have a much better explanation for that. I believe that we can import multiple, though, in that. And export's just limited to one type of good, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong here. Um, gr only the auxiliary rooms that the woodcutter need furniture. Uh, that Yes, that appears to be true. But also, too, they should have more furniture before you know it. They've already got one piece of it ready. So here go these guys. It looks like they're using fidget spinners. Like some sort of Beyblade fidget spinner thing that's probably going to get banned at school. You, you remember when they banned bla Beyblades at your school and you just had this existential void? Ah, there we go. Our hunters are starting to hunt like they're supposed to. Good, good. Okay, um, I don't really want to export any of the wood, though we do have a lot of it. Let's give them a moment to work here. Now, I want to try to avoid losing people. I do. I mean, things have been going great guns in terms of just the improvement of their lives. But the question is, like, are their lives improving fast enough? The answer is probably not. <laughs> um, 
access quality access uh, the level of access to subjects can be improved by building more service facilities so maybe we want to build another kitchen here because let's just go see if the kitchen is overwhelmed by the number of people added so this is at load 96.8 percent so what i take that to mean is that although there's not really anybody there right now it seems as though there are too many people coming and going trying to get treats at our kitchen so let's just give this a little bit of time to kind of even out we'll let them get done with the wood cutting thing and then after that, I'm probably going to build another kitchen because this seems like a pretty important need. I want to make sure that I've got all my people fed and happy. I mean, they can just like grab food off the ground, right? But still. Right, maybe we'll just like let them finish all of these jobs and then we'll catch up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now they've got a steady stream of furniture, four of those, and we've got eight out of 28. They'll keep delivering the rest of that. Let's see, okay, now it's at only 14.9% load. Hmm, then why are my people not... And now is their access improved to the kitchen? Has your access improved to the kitchen? Oh, it does appear as if it's gone up to 98%. Okay, so then it completely just resolved itself. Fine. Very well. Um, though I do believe that we can improve it even more by the size of this blue bar if we go beyond this level of need. But it, it seems to be fully green boy happy right now. Um, I'm good with that. All right. I would like to do science, but I, I kind of want to distribute some of the furniture here where I have myopically begun this construction, but it also does appear as if they're done. So let's go ahead and do some uh, science now. Okay, I believe this is under infrastructure and knowledge. We're going to construct a laboratory. And these rooms need to be very long, boy. Um, where to put them? I don't think it really matters so much. I guess like near the houses would be good. Um, and also, too, there's not really any other resources we need, so we'll put it by, the, like, the forum area. Let's go over here. Can we tame the animals? Uh, I know that we can import livestock, and livestock are just sort of like this generic bin. Did I show you guys the livestock bin? It's kind of neat. Um, let me try for seven by this. We'll do that in a second. Is this as big as it can... Uh, we could do this. We could do... S Actually, this room doesn't even need to be quite this big at all. So we can take this down slightly. There we go. It's slightly taken down. And then I guess we'll do like like a three wide entrance on each side. Can we have that nice and symmetrical? Oh, no, we can't actually. What a shame. So there we go. Constructing. All right. So this is the laboratory. DD, get out of my laboratory. It just brings me back. Brings me back. Now, they are going to need 60 furniture here. I think we're producing it fast enough, though. Fast enough. We've got plenty of wood. In fact, let's go clear some more wood because there's just so much wood to be cleared. We're really going to need quite a lot of this stuff if we want to get us into the position. And we are going to need more rocks as well. So let's go do all of that. Clear all. Uh, if there happen to be any rocks in this giant forest, take them. There we go. Good. Now, trees will regrow. Like, even if we just like cut down all the trees on the map and left it that way they would come back it would take a little while but they would come back i'm not quite sure if that's related to the number of trees up but i think we'll just deforest liberally here because like i i don't know i probably won't live to see the end of this civilization so let's just be nearsighted and just kind of continue uh in such a jolly way along destroying the woods maybe the lorax will come out good we're pretty much just finishing up with this thing and they've kind of tamed this wood so that we can harvest all the trees. Ah, that's nice when they fill everything out, isn't it? Hmm. What's the meaning of the red and green boxes in the zoomed out map? Um, so green is, I believe, areas of wild vegetation, if I am not mistaken. Let's see if we can just confirm if that's true. Yes, I do believe that to be true. I want to say that red is ores, now that we look at it. Is red ores, or is it, what is this type of resource right here? Yeah, clay deposits, so it must be clay deposits and resources. Is this also clay over here? Yep, that's also clay deposits. I thought that this was limited to an undermountain type of deal, but undermountain, we had some stone deposits before. Now there's coal deposits as well, so yeah, that's deposits and wild edibles uh, in those locations. And if we do zoom out, we start to see the locations of some more of our services and so on and so forth. So again, very satisfying to look at this game. It's like looking down at an anthill. Maybe, 
I know I say that about a lot of games, but this is kind of an ultimate version of that. So let's go ahead and see. Are we automatically employing the woodcutters? Yeah, we seem to be. Production plus 5.10 um, plus 4. I believe one of these is, yeah, produced this year. That's right. So how many they produce in a year? So if you'll notice, we've had some seasonality going on, day and night. Um, and we, we're going into, what are we going to now? This is the symbol for summer. Is this the one for spring? Uh, they're both summer. Okay, well, we will be coming on to winter sooner or later. Um, but yeah, there are seasons in this game, that is to say. Okay, so uh, let's just see. Have we built everything that we can right now? I haven't really gone into structures or fences or really like... Um, uh, making everything kind of like more sanctioned off in a way, but I don't really think that's necessary. We have done our crafting. We haven't done the ore mine yet, but the ore mine is going to require... Oh, maybe this is only for the auxiliary stations. We are going to need the um, the metal bars, but also to... Ooh, I gotta... Um, this is my export depot. Uh, I guess I'll auto-employ. I just am kind of a fan of the auto-employ. I'm going to use it. And the, oh, I forgot to do one little thing. I'm going to go ahead and authorize anyone who wants to enter our civilization can. Normally, you need to approve people, but I think I'm just going to take any humans that want to come in here. It's more likely that people will want to leave than come in, but uh, I digress. Um, You know, we've been doing pretty well with leather. We've been doing pretty well with meat. So let's go ahead and export. Just because meat is going to spoil, let's export, like... 34% of what's in our stockpiles. So that's pretty good. I mean, they'll still keep adding meat to the stockpiles. Let's allocate a little bit more room for meat in our stockpiles just because we're going to be exporting some of it. So that means uh, that we'll have some of it and we'll have some to export and so on and so forth. Now, clothing. They're also going through clothing. They have all these human needs that we haven't really, like, addressed completely. Um, yes, don't worry. <laughs> As the comment was made that Mr. Beast will just replant the trees. Like, based comment, you know, maybe he will, uh, in every virtual world, maybe Beast is replanting trees. Wouldn't that be a funny coincidence? Oh, yes, here is their need for roads. Okay, so the quality of the roads, uh, is it, is it degrading? Current value, is, uh, is it actually degrading? History of fulfillment, maybe they get fulfillment out of building the roads as well. I'm honestly not 100% sure about this. We could up the imp the quality of the houses to make them happier with the fulfillment, but I'm not sure if it's just the amount like stored or if it's actually the flow of creating more roads that makes them happy. I will have to check this out as we go. Let's go ahead and build some more roads for that matter. Can we build them right over this water? It appears as if we can. Yay, verily, good for us. Hmm. Let's also put a, a two a two-boy road over here. And see if it makes their, their mood improve yet even more. Also, too, is there anywhere that they are treading a lot that they... Like, that they just don't have a road? Okay, let's ha They seem to be making this road a lot because I've sent them all out to work in the woods. See what happens there. Isn't it so nice to look at this from, from afar? And I think I've also employed many people as woodcutters. I may not actually need that many. Yeah, I think I'm going to I think I'm going to hire like half that many for that place. I happen to make this very large because my last wood cutting station was a disaster and we just didn't have enough wood in one of our colonies, so I was like, "No, we must uh, make our entire quest in life to get more wood." And look at how that worked out. Um we could get animal pastures going right now. I don't see why I wouldn't. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of what's a good spot to put this. So we'll probably end up doing some farms as well. We have cleared out this forest, so why not right here? Let's do it there. That looks perfect. That way we can have the wood. Uh, but then again, we do kind of want it to be near the kitchens and the warehouses. So maybe over here we start to do uh, handle the food business. I imagine it would be like nicely set off over here by the river. So let's just do that in, uh, in to satisfy my, my mind what I want for the colony. Let's go ahead and do... Um, pasture and we'll do some farms so we're going to have a lot of farms here now the farms do take quite a while and they'll be pretty much fine with just edibles but i want to just have some space for like future civilizations to make sure that they have enough to eat let's do a vegetable farm here we are going to employ some farmers 
Um, I believe that humans are pretty good at farming, if I'm not mistaken. But I really don't want to like consume their whole day with just farming either, because that would be a little bit boring. Um, cotton we're probably going to need for like clothing and stuff. Though we can get some of that from just like animal pelts. I know cotton doesn't come from animal pelts, but I believe that they are like kind of put together in just textiles and that's what they're considered. Um, let's go ahead and do agriculture farms with that. Opiates, I believe we're getting out of nature already right now. And I don't really see the point of getting into the business right away. I mean, eventually. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But for the most part, they're just going to be harvesting these things in nature. So we'll get a little bit of vegetables just to, for the point of getting food up and so on and so forth. Okay, I believe that's pretty much it on that. Stone mining. Can we just do one of these? Uh, we can, in fact. Okay, I'm going to put a stone mine over here. Are these the insect boys? And I'm not even going to build any auxiliary stations. Because I think that they require the metal bars. Or is it this one? I have to just double check this. Area's not connected or an item is carting off part of their... Oh, wait a minute. I do believe that this should not be part of it. Just make sure that the entire thing is, like, connected as one. There we go. The power within. The power within. There we go. And is, is this the thing that costs... Yeah, this costs metal bars. So let's just not have an auxiliary station. We'll just have stone cutting so some people will live their sad lives beneath the mountain. And I believe that this is no mountain overhead, but we're going to find that out in a moment. Let's just give them a moment to work. Hey, Dino Predator. Thank you very much for the uh, gift in the sub. So what's everybody thinking of the game so far? I mean, I've, I've done the... I guess the next thing we're going to get on to is research. But that's that's happening over here. That's science. I feel like we've done a lot of setup. Um, but there is still like a lot more grand civilization stuff to go. Research. I wanted to trade a little bit if we could. Maybe we'll get a trader in. We've got the exporting happening here. We do have auto employment on this. So they should be bringing these goods over to market. Um, and also, too, I didn't get another good. What's something else that we have a lot of? Okay, so we actually happen to have a lot of wood. I'll trade away. Let's trade away like 10% of what's in our stockpile because I really don't want to have too much leaving us. That would be bad. Oh, hey, wowzers. Jesus. Everything Bagel, thank you very much for the 10 gift subs. That's very generous of you, Everything Bagel. I hope you're enjoying. I hope you're not ever putting yourself at any financial need, and I... I just hope that you find more of to, uh, the stuff to enjoy that you've been enjoying so far. Thank you very much for the 10 gift subs. If you're getting a gift sub, please be sure to say that. Yes, indeed. Constructing furniture takes, like, kind of a distastefully long time. Well, we've made 56 this year, and also, too, like, they're getting there. 31, 32, 33, 34. I just haven't really sped up time, like, like yeeted time yet. And I am beginning to yeet the time. Humans have decided to leave your city, renouncing their citizenship. Okay, so this is because they weren't totally happy. What were we at, 55? Well, uh, the truth is that it will kind of, like, equalize out. Like, people will just get to the point where they're fine with our city. Where are they going, though? Uh, where is the group that's leaving? I haven't seen the numbers drop yet. Now, I had this happen already, so don't be alarmed. Um, and like I said, I kind of expected it to happen. Because I've been forcing them all to work out in the woods, so their roads need, I believe, is not being met. I think this is just like an aggregate score for the entire civilization. So they've all been out here in the woods. Oh, well, too bad. More people will come and fill them in. Yep, go live in the woods. Go live in the woods like Tom Jode from the Grapes of Wrath. See how you like it. There we go. For sale, 768, outbound zero. Um, I do believe we need to get the trader to come, though. Fully operational, encyclopedia, export depot, delete. Yeah, so we'll just leave that at auto-employ. Now, have we got anything for importing, accepting? Um, oh, I guess we are limited to one good for that. So let's see if we can get some metal bars, because I feel like this would take a, a while. Um, we'll import, like, 50% of what's allowed in our warehouses, which I believe is 255 right now, if I'm not mistaken. 
Um, now we can get more warehouses and we could do like specialized warehouses and stuff like that. Yeah, so that'll be like a hundred and something. Uh, what is the actual price of that? Actually, that seems way too expensive. Let's bring this down to like 10%. Yeah, because that's going to cost a lot of money because that's a rather expensive good. Now, I'm going to go a little bit deeper into some of the UI stuff here because I didn't know that this existed. So, oh, we do start off with 1,000 knowledge for my title. Ah, oh, that's very helpful. Now, as soon as we get up the science lab, I might as well just wait until this thing is done. We're going to have people who will start to employ themselves as scientists. See, we lost only three colonists. That's not so bad. Um, and they will basically just stare at a table all day, which is called producing science in this game. Um, and why does it look like Broken Rimworld from 1995? I don't know. I, I'm kind of... The graphics are growing on me. I didn't like them to begin with, but now I'm kind of digging the pixel art. But anyway, so as we have scientists in our civilization, we need them to... Oh, and it's also negative three degrees Celsius. We have to... Um, hang on a second. I forgot to do this. Uh, hmm. Before I do anything else, I, sh I should probably handle that. Some things that I just can so easily ignore. Uh, we will have a hearth. Let's put this like kind of near the houses, but also in the forum area. I think that they will intentionally go to this. Rather than just simply passing by it. But I'll maybe put in another one, too. Over here. H. There we go. H for hearth. <laughs> negative six, negative seven. Jesus Christ, it's getting very cold here. Um, now, the technology screen is very hidden. And I, I honestly don't like the way that you access it. Like, you need to click on this button. But that doesn't look clickable to me. So I've been kind of clicking around on everything since I discovered this just to learn as much as I can about the game, because, well, these icons just don't really appear very clickable, to be completely honest with you. Um, we can get, like, prisoners in our civilization and stuff like that. Oh, here's our whole population screen. Whoa, I didn't know that you could zoom to every single one just by hovering over. That is dizzying and mystifying. Okay, but it is getting rather cold out here, though. Um, finish the hearth, finish the hearth. Hearth and home. Good, this should be fairly easy to construct. 50, okay, there we go. And it has been lit. Hearth number one and hearth number two. Uh, service, it does need 12. Do we have anybody delivering that? It should be by our, I believe our delivery men should be doing that. Hmm. For level... For 10% of warehouse went above 1147. Okay, so good. They're delivering that there. Does this one have anything? It's consuming one consumed this year. Are they using this one? Available services. Load 100%. Okay, let's just give them a moment for it to kind of like be enter use in our civilization. I think we're good. Um, knowledge. Okay, so knowledge, we are going to give them lavatories just so that they can increase their number of services available to them. That allocates 75 knowledge. Now, you also need to not just be getting more knowledge, you also need to maintain the amount of knowledge that you have. So it is a little bit more complex than that. Um, this costs 1,800 knowledge, and we've got only 925 left. This seems to be knowledge that's just, like, freely given to us, and we don't actually need to maintain. Um... I haven't really used this thing yet. Torches, metal, light the streets and tunnels with light, providing safety. I think the tavern is the other thing that we want. So I will allocate 900 more of the knowledge toward rations, um, which I believe we have. I haven't been allowing them to use the rations yet because it's mainly like an army thing. But yeah, we've got that and we've got a tavern. So this will hopefully start to meet more of their needs. Um, I'm slightly worried because my people may freeze to death is determined by climate season and chance so we are coming into winter skinny dipping in natural bodies of water cold subjects clothes to help with warmth and cold i mean we do have clothes in our stockpiles don't we we had it before i believe it was right down here yeah, we still have 168 clothing so they should be using those as they go through it i mean look the hearth is lit there's a boy over there by the hearth yeah rate 75 percent of course look there he is he's warming himself up at his leisure time. Good for him. Good for him. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if our entire civilization were de destroyed by something trivial and stupid. Um, so just kind of like prepare yourself because that's probably, it's likely that it'll happen. 
But I do still have my list of tasks that we'll hopefully get to the end of. And it seems as though we're making our way through winter. Nice, nice. Usually that's like correlated with the amount of cold. We've got the... Why are we running out of money? Inflation? What? We don't even have a Federal Reserve in here, though. We're, we're trading like in bullion, right? Not, there's no fiat currency in this world. What is the currency of this world anyway? It's just numbers. It's just numbers. Maybe it's like a world where NFTs have taken over and then people are like the government has created its own NFT and it's like some sort of dystopian fiat currency NFT which is going to destroy everyone at massive inflation because they could just keep uh, digitally printing more of them kind of like the opposite of the scarcity problem that was supposed to be solved by Bitcoin. You know, I'm just philo philosophizing here. It's possible that that's how our civilization ends. And we're running out here. Um, wait, is it, has it degraded? Is it actually degrading in there? Oh, sold 90, 88, 87, 86. Stored, sold. So are we actually making more money from this? Earnings, 3.5. That's Oh, we are earning money. Tribute, earnings. Oh, no, that was trade. That was tribute. That wasn't that. Wait a minute. Is it just spoiling out there? Okay, hang on a second. I m may not fully understand this trade thing. In which case, uh, don't export any of it. Bring it all back. Bring it all back because I'm not entirely clear on why this is just disappearing. Is this Is this rotting? Yeah, I don't know. I, I was thinking that traders would just come in and pick it up if we had that. We did have traders come around, but usually they wanted to trade us like people. So that seemed uh, slightly problematic there. But here we find ourselves again at this at this impasse. Are they coming and picking it up? But uh, what I'm trying to say is that... Oh, wait, no, we did. We did actually make... Oh, no, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. Yeah, we are making money from trade from that. Okay, so let's just, like, put it at more of a humble level. Let's do, like, 6% of our resources. That might be better. Because I don't want to, like, gamble with the house money. You know, there we go. Let's just do a small, small boy amount of the resources that we have. And we'll probably up this again because we have yet even more wood. I believe that this is us being at max when it's pink. So let's just, like, allow more of that in. Uh, what else? Pelts are at max, so we'll raise that again, too. Rations. We need more ration room. Fruits, probably from all the wild edibles that we've been... Oh, no! We have... Uh, we're running out of room. And the vegetables. There we go. Now, the degradation on the individual goods is a little bit tricky to, like, figure out exactly... Is this on this flow screen? Stored, sacrificed, earnings... Imported taxes. Yeah, there's like kind of such a dizzying array of information that um, I, I do ha hope I will get a little bit backseated here because there there is enough for me to consume. Anyway, we've done farming. We've processed everything into furniture. We've got the woodcutter area. Um, we've set up some of our services. Our people are now mostly not freezing to death. And we've actually got a couple more immigrants. I neglected to see this. But yeah, we had more people come in. We've slightly improved their needs. Um, we, do we have a lavatory yet? We should probably get a lavatory going soon. Um, we're at only 8.6% there. So let's just go ahead and keep making everybody's lives better. Keep giving them more services. Um, mm, want to backseat too much, but everything is crumbling because we have no... Ah, yes, thank you. I forgot about my janitor. I totally forgot about that. Yes, you are right. Thank you. Ration maker, I don't need that. I need my logistics... Civics, where is my janitor again? Procreation health. Oh, I neglected to do this one important thing, but thank you. Janitor, here we go. So janitor main maintains, I'm pretty sure that this is just like structures nearby, not like the actual degradation of goods, if I'm not mistaken about that. Um, we could have the janitor share a wall. And me thinks, why not? Well, yes, let's, yay verily, let's have the janitor do that. This won't ruin the isolation of the building either, so that's okay. Okay, so now we have a janitor. Phew. Thank you. Thank you. 
Six percent for the max of everything, but six percent. I believe it's six percent that they're exporting from our max. No, it says stockpiles, but it seems like it's actually doing more than that. And it does tell you about the degradation of it too. How is this one at six point six percent? Some things we're just gonna have to skim over here because I don't fully understand what that's trying to say about the degradation. Like six point six percent a day that it's at six point six percent. Hard to really tell for sure. Yes, this game is hard to learn. But, I mean, like, it's not as hard to learn or get started in as, say, for example, Dwarf Fortress, I would say. Okay, let's have a lavatory because poop... I mean, shit happens, as they say. So, we'll put that over here, and I believe we're going to need two stations. Yeah, latrines, where the doo-doo is created. Are we going... Will we have enough room here for this? I think so. I think so. And then the basins for washing the doo-doo off. There we go. And that requires nine furniture, so we are at a better place with furniture now. Oh, whoops. Uh, anytime you get that message, it usually just means you forgot to put in doors. We'll put the... Uh, we, we'll, we won't put in, like, so, like publicly show the doo-doo to everyone, but that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and do a dirt road over here. More of those. I want to keep everything to a grid, and I know that's kind of, like, boring, but only because... I think this game can get very chaotic and crazy. Oh, no, I accidentally just did mess up the grid slightly there, but it's okay. It won't, like, affect our civilization too, too much. Phew. Okay, see, look, everyone's completely happy now. How did the loyalty rise this much? What was the main thing that I did? Honestly, not entirely sure. Um, what are the icons on the right with numbers on the right of time and date? Um, constructed rooms and deranged. I don't actually understand this at all yet. Deranged are people who have gone insane. They will do no work and wander around your city doing erratic things. Can be cured in an asylum, which is a service that we simply don't have yet. Um, and then if we click on, oh, constructed rooms can actually be very easily scrolled around the whole map. That is kind of nice. Now this will go up into like the hundreds Love or thousands. Your keep and in rich mind. Vocabulary. Ambusneck. Uh, wait, was that because we constructed? No, we don't have the janitor yet. Now the red does seem to be things that have degraded because of this. Hey, Borsch Mac, thank you for the three hundred bits. Hey, God bless you, my friend. Thank you very much. Dirt road degrade fourteen point two percent. Okay, so then this will scale, and I believe that we can auto employ in this room because, like. This could get very out of hand because our civilization will only continue to grow. I can, well, until it all falls catastrophically. I'm going to go ahead and show you about blueprinting right now. Oh, this actually saves from earlier? Wow. I did not know that this was true. Um, anyway, what I'm trying to say is that we're getting to, like, the extent of what I can store in this warehouse tastefully. So I do want to blueprint this and... Uh, you know, I'm just going to get rid of all my old blueprints. You could see what I did in old civilizations, but that's quite nice because now you don't have to, re re you know, reinvent the wheel every single time you want to play and you just want to use similar blueprints. That's pretty good. Yeah, I support that, I think. All right, so we've got the janitor going up. Phew, sheesh. On God, respectfully. There we are. Okay, so I guess yellow means, like, we're taking care of it. Red means, like, it don't be taken care of. What kinds of things have degraded anyway? Let's just kind of check it out. Learn a little bit through observation. I imagine also too, like if you're watching this and you're banging your head against the wall and you fully understand this game, please leave a comment so that I can learn more because I have sat through uh, most of what one human would want to tastefully sit through on this game's information, but it will help me disseminate the information out to the internet faster. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm fairly decent at explaining things when I understand them, but I don't fully yet understand this game, and, I, and I've been wanting to learn. So I think I put that disclaimer at the beginning of the video. Though. Um, immigration has started slowing down. You should make a nursery to sh make sure population keeps going. So maybe that's something that we could work to with our knowledge. So let's go back to our knowledge. Um, can we search for things in here? I believe that we had education going in here. So schooling, I'm assuming that that would be under that, like nursery? Animal science, science, refining, crafting, mining, health. Maybe it's over here. Asylum. Ah, yes, we could have that asylum. Procreation. Okay, yes, this looks like it. Human nurseries. 
Now we're going to need more of these. Can we de-research if we like? No, we can't de-research. That could be tricky because you need to keep maintaining the amount of knowledge. And, like, these aren't things that seem so difficult to remember. I'm <laughs> just saying, like, how do we create a dirt road? Like, well, now we need to assign ten people to remembering it. Okay, so then this is like a building. Human nursery. And once we get 500 knowledge, which is, like, a, a totally reasonable task, then we could take care of the children, perhaps. Who will take care of the children? What is the loyalty related to, too? Nobles, uh... I mean, everything was green a minute ago. Okay, law. How lawful are your cities? Improved by building catching terminals in process. Is this because of the crazy person that we have running around? Oh, and immigrants. So, more immigrants. Ah. Uh, I suppose that it makes them more unhappy when they have many foreigners living in their country. And that, like, it takes time to kind of assimilate these people to their civilization. A little bit here, I'm just kind of conjecturing, but it does make sense, doesn't it? Because there is an overwhelming amount of information. Nursery takes a long time to population. Improving happiness provides... I agree, I, th I think we'll be better off with immigration for now, because look at how many people we're already 12 up from what we started with. Um, we are auto-employing here. Just one janitor. Can we kind of raise this above that number, though? Like, could we auto-employ more if we wanted? We could, it seems. Okay, but I, I guess I trust the auto-employ because auto-employ is like, nah, you need one. Don't worry about it. Um, another one is f days of food stored for all subjects. This number is very convenient. It's right up here. It's a little hidden, but 48 days of food. It's just good to know that we have that. Excuse me. Um, hmm. Phew! Oh, yeah, I forgot that we had an entire stone mine going that's been employing... Oh, my God, how many of my population... Jesus Christ, I totally neglected that, and I forgot that I had that many people working in the stone mines. How thoughtless of me. Ugh. Well, we'll bring it bound to, back down to just, like, ten or nine people. Why would we have everyone working in the stone mines? Now, I don't believe that people are at their happiest when they're working in a stone mine. So, I mean, but that's just my philosophy. So let's go ahead and bring some of them out of the stone mine. Are we even getting any stone out of the stone mine? <laughs> Not really that much. Let's have them do things out in the land. I believe that there are other, like, uh, races of uh, beings in the game that more greatly enjoy it. Um, did we get the tavern? That would be nice to do. That's going to take care of a lot of their needs. Procreation. Well, lavatory. Tavern. Here we go. Where subjects can spend time and drink. Uh, current room zero, so we don't have enough of that. Maybe we should put that by, like, the forum area? It looks like we're getting the final storm of winter to just kind of curse me more here. Put that actually over here. There's a hearth over here, so maybe it would be, like, a very pleasant place for, you know, gaiety and merriment. Um, we'll have a big table in here. Man, maybe I need to make this place even bigger, though. Okay, so that actually is going to cost us a lot of furniture. Do we even have that much furniture? Work faster. What are the knickknacks? Okay, let's make this room even larger. Didn't think it was possible, but okay. Knickknacks, yes. Every tavern needs some knickknacks. And carpets. Okay, carpets is going to require uh, a good that we don't actually have yet. So is this optional? Coziness is 0%. I wholeheartedly disagree with you. I believe we can edit after we're done too, right? Let's make this one smaller. There we go. Okay, just no carpets in there. Um, but can we get like some kind of tailor to start to produce textiles soon? Probably going to be under crafting with work. We have the ration maker, boy or paper maker. Yeah, there we go, tailor. Okay, so what do we need for a tailor? Um, production takes pelts and makes clothing. Also takes uh, who actually who is watching the watch over here? Who is doing that like initial refining? Maybe that's the weaver. Yeah, okay. So the weaver is taking the cotton. So if we get the weaver, we have the resources that we need for that, right? Because we have cotton. Yep, there's the cotton. Um, so let's go ahead back to our tech tree and see what it would take to get a weaver. Because I'm feeling like that might help us. Um. Oh my god, yeah. 
There we are. Oh, actually, I haven't even turned on the in-game soundtrack at all yet. Whoops-a-daisy. I will turn that up to, like, 50%. Because, yes, indeed it is very good, but it can get kind of distracting, and there are vocals, which is one of the reasons I kept it out of this. Oh, I knew I was leaving something out. Probably it gets repetitive, too, and I, I feel like I've judged every game's soundtrack to death that I'm just tired of doing it. It's kind of, like, forlorn and a little bit skyrim -y. I'm good with that, though. But I hope you enjoy. Make it sound like I, I made the soundtrack. No, I didn't. I had nothing to do with making the soundtrack. <laughs> um, I wish I did. Lavatory tavern. We have the tavern. Uh, oh, yeah. It was just the technology. So I could speed up time to some ungodly number. Um, I wish that there were a control F in this. Bonus? Who is this? City guard. We aren't really... No one really wants anything that we have. Is this the weaver? Okay, weaver. 250 knowledge. Cotton or animal fiber. Turned into soft and strong bolts of vibrant cloth. This can revolutionize your clothier's work. Or prove a valuable export. Yes. Yay, very like charcoal. -er. <laughs> okay, let's have that. So we're refining at the weaver. Um, we'll put this nearby our cotton fields because I think that's quite an obvious, like, architectural decision. But not, like, so near that it feels claustrophobic. Um. No, you know what I'm going to do? I could have these two share a wall. Am I going to do that? Nah, I don't think I'm going to do it right now. I could build right next to an old building, though, and I'll just show you this. Like, have those two share a wall. Can be convenient, but I want things to kind of stay out separated onto their own, well, threads and whatnot. Pun intended. There we go. Uh, so let's have a loom. What does this cost? This seems totally reasonable. Um, employees, how many... I think let's just make everything as large as possible in these places that we can always expand if we want to. Um, do a storage there, and we'll do an auxiliary loom. There we go. Auxiliary means uh, helps. There we go. That was in uh, vocabulary today. Auxiliary. Oh, that's actually going to cost us quite a lot. Hang on a second. Hmm. What was costing me the metal bars? Um, hang on a second. How do I actually just get rid of one of the items themselves? Expand room over structure. Type. Uh, delete. Uh, delete. How do I delete? This is remove doorway. Uh, is this in the remove, delete jobs, delete room plans, delete room? If we just do... Okay, I just removed the entire thing. Uh, whoops, a daisy. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, delete jobs, delete jobs. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to do the entire thing again because I do not know how to delete just one of the things in there. Oh, yeah, I should have just tried selecting the item. Yes, but I, I felt like I always had something on the tool. Probably that would have been rather obvious. I should probably try that again for, just for practice right now. Anyway, let's go ahead back to crafting, uh, refining weaver. We will try it again here. What do we have? It's 17. It was just like a very strange number. 17 does not belong. If you are 17, you probably have felt as though you you don't belong. And you probably don't belong. But here you are, watching this stream at 17. Why are you watching this stream at 17? Yeah, so I think that this is where it got me. It's like, I keep trying to select something, but I have a tool selected? So how do I select the... It's like every time that I'm in this, I'm selecting a thing. You know what I mean? There we go. Oh, so no matter what we build in the room, we're going to require metal bars. Okay, how now, brown cow? How now, brown cow, indeed. You select the loom. Yes, this is the game's sound. This is the music soundtrack. Yes. <laughs> yes, the, the sound with you here with the ears. Hmm. Mm, the circle that's crossed. Oh, the circle that's crossed. This thing? Oh, it needs to be in the... Uh, Alright, it's fine. We need metal bars anyway. 
Let's just work on importing some of those metal bars. Inbound, we have none of those. Do we have it? We do act wait, 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 we do in fact have them. When did we import this? This is what is driving me crazy about this game is that I don't get a message when a trader comes. Okay. Uh yay verily, begin again. For the umpteenth time I will construct this room. I think I need to designate the entire room and then we go back out into the remove menu. We'll try that. A little bit, some of these controls are a little bit, like, infuriating. Like, I, I feel like it could be simplified. Just to say that. Smart remove. Remove jobs. Of any, uh, remove structures and rooms. See, this highlights the entire room. So I'm not going to press it because I don't want to create that much work for myself again. But yeah, I, I, I think you guys are wrong there. Either that or I'm just not doing something right. Item is selected. There's a cross circle you can use to delete. Yes, but anytime I do it, I have to select the entire room. You see, this is the source of my frustration, is that I am I am smooth-brained. Might Night Taco Holdout. Thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you very much, Might Night Hot. Might Night Taco Holdout. I hope you get the taco at the end of the night. You've been very generous to me, and I, I do appreciate the kindness. I hope you enjoy whatever it is you uh, came for. You're very nice to me. Yay, verily. Yay, verily. All right, so we've, uh, you know, I, I think that this stream wouldn't be complete without, like, a little bit of head bashing. I noticed Quill doing a little bit of this, too, like, just trying to figure out some of the systems. I think he had the game a little bit more down path than me. But, like, I'm happy with the fact that we're, we're we out here, you know? Like, we out here playing Songs of Six, and that gave that gives me great comfort. Let's go ahead and put uh, some animals around, because... We do have all this livestock. I believe that livestock are just contained in a box. Neat little domesticated animals wrapped in boxes that can be used to populate pastures. I don't know if this is very serious gameplay writing. I think it's like enheartening and joyful and I enjoy, and I, well, I enjoy that of course. So let's just put down a pasture for, well, something. Who knows what will be living in here? Uh, we just need to build a gate. Can we rotate the gate? Yeah. Okay, yeah, and it and just needs to line up like expects. this. So let's just make a small pasture, small boy pasture, and I believe we will have owl rock there. I think that's what... Well, humans, they're pretty much fine with everything except for the bugs. So I, th I think that's fine. Hey, Esservel, thank you very much for the 16 months. Um, we will also... Can we clear these rocks? They just seem to be kind of like in the way here. Look at how beautifully like the environment is interspersed, though. All procedural. Isn't it beautiful? At least I believe it's procedural. Hmm. Hmm. Are we winter? No, uh, we did make it out of winter, and we all survived the winter, it seems. Still have most of the people. 75, population, religion. Okay, so let's see what uh, their other needs are being met. I mean, the main things I wanted to do were spots. Okay, so they've got some hearth spots. News spots. I believe that we could do that. I think that's pretty accessible in the research. Yeah. Um, so let's go populate our forum here. Gossip and exciting news of the realm. Sometimes it is even true. <laughs> so like just basically the ancient version of the tabloids. I believe also too that if we give them graves, not like to kind of foreshadow like everybody's going to die, like, but rather to, um, I mean, it's true, but... <laughs> But to kind of, like, give them comfort that when they die, they will have somewhere that they belong. So I, I believe that that's what that's about. Like, mass grave, not as inviting, maybe, as a graveyard. So let's see if we can satisfy that need a bit more. But also, too, um, yeah, we're allocating more of this, and we're going to need to require more people. Basically, the end of civilization is just everyone staring at a table and trying to remember what came before um, in this game. Um... Oh, we could actually increase the efficiency of the foresters. And also, too, I don't believe that I designated any of this. So I'm just going to very generically designate. Let's especially do these main resources that we've been, like, collecting. Or, like, the materials, I know we're going to need to store a lot of them. So let's just make sure we've got one for each of those. Maybe, like, another one or two for meats, since we seem to be having a lot of it. Um, furniture, since we'll probably end up having a lot of it. And then just, like, a crap load of stone and wood and a little bit of everything because why not there we go a little bit of everything 
because I can't really make up my mind. Um, and there's not really any need to do like perfectly specialized stockpiles here either. Um, I know I haven't designated everything here. I will auto employ again. We're at 46 out of 50. Let's just randomly do the rest as wood because I think that's important. We aren't at any caps. Uh, libraries make it better. Oh, that, actually, that is fair. Ooh, I wonder if we could store that. That way we could create more knowledge because we wouldn't have to base the knowledge on the knowledge. Where is the library, anyway? It's right over there. Okay, so we need 1,200, so we're probably going to need to create another laboratory. Now, here what we have is... Does it show what we're at? 2.1,000 is the highest that we can create and sort of, like, maintain right now. But we've already allocated 1.2,000, so that means we've got about another 900 that we could get to. This means we're going to need to create another one. Um, lifetime study cannot encompass all the discoveries of your people. Librarians toilet. Oh, this is actually very helpful. Oh, I didn't know that libraries were this useful. So we don't just have to have a bunch of people stabbing desks, trying to understand where, like, life comes from, uh, and torturing themselves. Okay, so then let's work on that. But we are also going to need a lot of other labs in order to get to that point. So, I mean, I've seen fully fleshed out civilizations in this game, and they do have quite a lot of laboratories in them where people were just stabbing desks for years, and that was the way it was. And they, and they liked it. And they liked it. Let's go ahead and put in a few more of these. Uh, actually, I could have just blueprinted that. Let's just do that. Five head move. So again, I'm like targeting the building that I'm trying to blueprint. And then I just go in there. So we have laboratory zero one. And now we can just repeat this design over and over again until everyone is sick in the head. Very nice, very nice. Probably we won't be able to create quite this many. In fact, I will remove, like, one of them. Because it's going to require a lot of furniture and work and people. Um, and I think it just seems like a bad idea. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it doesn't automatically remove the walls? What is that? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that was technically a job, so we were trying to remove the job. Ah, now I see. There we go. There we go. I wonder if this will be enough for 76 people in a civilization to do. Let's take some people off of stone mining because I really don't think we need that much stone. Like, we need way more knowledge. I just, I'm kind of baffled by the 8,000 cost of creating a library. Maybe we should have done that at the very beginning. Yeah, copying and pasting build. Like, you can start to play out the game like an Excel autofill spreadsheet, which is nice about it. It's very, like... Although I, I know that a lot of people have been like, the controls seem crazy. Like, you gotta go into menus for everything. But everything can be very easily made, like, recursive and repeatable. So there is that. I will say that. I will say that. What about, why would you make fun of their desks? They love their desks and... My favorite thing about this game is just the generic animation for, like, doing work. Is just them poking something with a stick. Or that's what it appears to be. Yeah, 126%. You can't compete with this. You get, what is it, like 15 minutes to do the SAT? They complete it in 12. Or they compete it in negative 5. There's like more minutes on the clock when they finish their SAT. That's how efficient these guys are. They're just in here taking the SAT repeatedly. Yes, that's right. They stab the desks with love. That's perfectly on target, your analysis. Well done. Um, does it show how much we're using on maintenance? Also, too, is anything actually using this for maintenance? Oh, we have only 32 out of 35 that we need. Inbound 64. Okay, so we are getting more metal bars. That's good, because I thought we needed them. And basically, they just, like, don't have the furniture to complete any of the things that I wanted them to do. I could have been less ambitious, but I mean, like, why compromise my dreams? Why let my dreams just be dreams when I could do whatever I want? You know. So I think what I'm going to do is speed up time to some ungodly amount, like 250% again here. See where my people go? So we are getting 95, 96 people. My god, our civilization is just so attractive to live in. Who wouldn't want to live in this world where we all stare at pieces of at desks and try to remember 
what we just said yesterday. Um, is everyone housed? Oh, we actually may have run out of housing because we have so many people! Huzzah! Huzzah! Good, good, good. Okay, so then let's go create more housing. I totally forgot to give everybody houses. <laughs> I, just, I didn't think it would be this popular. I didn't think we would hit it off this well in our civilization. Okay, that's that's wonderful. I think we'll continue to give them these uh, apartments because they seemed to like them. They all seem to be pretty happy with that. And yeah, we'll just build over these wild edibles and the, uh, you know, the, the wildlife out here. I think all that we need is stone and wood for that. And we actually seem to be doing very well in the stone and wood departments. Which, strangely, I was like very, very much struggling on those things before. So make sure that you have plenty of wood when you start off your uh, your civilization. And new level unlocked. Oh my god, I didn't, I've, this has never even happened before. With more people following you, they now refer to you as their leader. You'd better train them. Uh, up, train up a fighting force or bandits or traitors will smell weakness. A powerful noble, the first of many, God's willing, joins your house to oversee the affairs. Uh, citizens required 100. We do have 100. Nobility 1. Happiness plus 0 0.05. That doesn't seem like a lot, but fine. Um, training grounds and archery ranges. Okay, so unfortunately we have stuff now and people will want it. So I guess we're going to get attacked. And that's probably going to be the climactic end of this civilization. Who just left a vegetable on the ground? That was kind of random behavior. I don't know what I think of that. But somehow, for some re godforsaken reason, more people just keep wanting to join our civilization. Please stop coming in. We aren't ready for any of you. You're going to cause the rest of us to starve and be miserable. Could give them wood for their apartments since we have a lot. True, but also too, we need the wood for furniture, which they're not doing too great on that end. I may actually have to create a second carpenter here because for some reason this job, they just never keep up with carpentry. I don't know why it seems like it should go faster, but, but nay, it does not. Let's just blueprint the first one. There we go. Um, but yes, it was a good idea. Thank you for suggesting it. Um, not to disparage what you said. I, I think it was a great idea. No, please keep having more good ideas. Or there really... There aren't enough of them around here. Hmm. I don't really want to ruin... Eh, let's just put it there. It's fine. Our grids will just be, like, not perfectly gritty. We'll have some gritty, gritty grids. And I should also probably save, too. I will say that this game has, like, a fully functional save system, which is great. Because some games of this nature don't. And it's just like, you just get one slot for your civilization. Nope. You have, like, the full Windows level of saving. I wanted to just hit home on how much I like that. And I think that it's a great idea. More of that. More of that. Um... Wow, 2.1 thousand stone. Jesus. This is more carpentry. Good, so more people can get to jobs on that. Great. Okay, so now they should be making more uh, fidget spinners and bla bay blades in there, I think. Good, so we are starting to see now we're getting more of like a two flow going on. And now they should be finishing up with this tavern. This is going to satisfy them yet even more. Look at them doing the floors. Jesus, look, they're poking it with their sticks. Saving is over it. I know my spreadsheet is messed up. <laughs> but I mean, like, it is. It's it's basically Microsoft Excel in a game form, and I'm, I'm kind of liking it. Okay, here we go. So we have people in the tavern. Um, Auto-employing tavern keepers, so we, I suppose we need people to, like, serve the drinks. 115. How come they all keep coming in? <laughs> it's probably ruining all of their other needs, too. I wish that they would finish one job before they did the next one, like allocate like that, because it does seem like they're balancing out here a little bit. Like this one's catching up. <laughs> oh well, I guess I could just be a little bit slower in my priorities. I have uh, eyes bigger than my stomach, as they say. All right. There we go. Now, I mean, look at this. We have a whole civilization here. A whole civilization. Do we have enough food? We, in fact, do. I mean, they, they seem to, like, automatically employ themselves pretty well into just taking care of all their basic needs, so... 
Not really complaining about that. Do we have 50 out of 50 here again? Man, we're going to need another warehouse soon before long. And yet at the same time, it's like, now maybe I guess we'll start specializing, which is why it seems good to have a, like a master plan laid out in your head before you begin any of this. Because can you imagine? Can you imagine? Okay, so before we get to the library, we are going to need to improve this. And now, so is this 8,000 in addition? It is. Okay, so we don't want to have to keep on, like, remembering everything from yesterday. So let's just do this. Supply your scientists with a cleaner work environment. So I, I'm not entirely clear. How do we upgrade? I think that they automatically upgrade, if I'm not mistaken. They need stone, though. They need metal bars. We do have the metal bars because they've imported them without me really saying anything about it. Um, and they need a lot of furniture again. And again, we need, just need so much furniture and wood at the beginning of these playthroughs. And it also seems as if we aren't exporting enough because I'm going to go ahead and take a look at our coffers right here. Um, we had a lot of tribute at the beginning. I can't really figure out how we were getting that. We made a tiny bit of money from trade. Um, hmm, research it and then press the button when we have the resources. Would be good to know. Oh, research it to unlock the upgrades. No, yes, we just, well, we did uh, just research the upgrades. I think this is what we did here. Improved laboratory. Hold left shift, disable the... Yep, after unlocking it, we'll need to select a library. Oh, okay, so then, yes, we just need the resources. Ah, so I see. So this is a button that opens up when we have those last two things, and that's actually how I interpret that to mean. We need those resources in our stockpiles, though. Sensible, sensible. Um, all right, but now, I mean, the more pressing situation, what is this, goods? Goods? We can also arrange our trade from here, which I did in the depots. But we could arrange it on like one larger macro screen if we like. So let's go ahead and see like what are we producing a lot of. It seems as though there's a lot of meat. Maybe we should be exporting some more of our meat now. Let's do like 20%. Even maybe, well I don't want us all to starve to death. So yeah, 20%. We'll do that. Um, for some reason. Yeah, they are auto-employing. Why isn't he not? Why is he not sending the wood over there? Warehouse is 992. Oh, it's because we aren't actually filling up our warehouses completely. I see. So it's really more of just like a delivery thing. Oh, wait, no, I stand corrected. We just haven't been collecting wood. We haven't been deforesting lately. Okay, so then let's go ahead and do that. Fell trees. And we'll just, like, destroy the rest of the forest. Sorry, Lorax. Um, yeah. This is why I set out that, like, tree protection area earlier, because I knew that this was going to happen. Let's just cut down the entire forest. Because look at how much of it we've just destroyed on this map. Isn't that awesome? Ah. Loving it. But also, too, like, look at all the trees that are growing back. We had cleared out this entire area, and now suddenly, like, it's fantastic. Look at them all. They're all just growing back. And I guess I'll give these ones some time to mature, though. Cut stone instead of normal stone. Ah, uh, wait. Oh, actually, yes, that is a very subtle difference. You're right. Yes, we do need to cut the stone. Thank you. Will we have enough knowledge for that, though? Fine, we'll just need to throw more human lives at the problem in order to uh, do that. So, yeah, then let's get in the refinement so that we can start to upgrade these labs. Um, mining and refining. Procreation, not really ready for that. It's sort of like, what is the best way to order your technologies? Cut stone. Do we even need to research it, though? Meals, prepared meals. We might not need to do that. Refining. Uh, stone cutting, stone cutting. Boyer, smithy, paper maker. Ma probably at a masonry. Technology, masonry. Yep, that's it. Okay, so we found it. Knowledge, civic, farming, animal science, refine. Could be under refining? Craft. No, it's under crafting then. Hmm. No, not under miscellaneous. Probably here then. Pottery. Masonry. Okay, here it is, masonry. That's pretty cheap. Only 250 knowledge. It would be kind of nice if those things were a little bit higher up on the tree so that it were somewhat more shall we say obvious as to what you're supposed to do here but i i guess you can need to kind of scroll down to see whatever tree you want 
Anyway, that aside, um, now we can do a masonry. This is going to cost more of these metal bars. Man, these metal bars, we really need to keep importing these things. So if we are storing the stone in these warehouses, I guess let's start to put it more near like this area because this is where we're ultimately going to be getting a lot of our stone. So let's start building up from here. I think this will be like the forum boy area. So we can just put this. Let's go like right there. Try for, we'll have that much room. We'll do a workbench. Mm, debatable on how much we'll need. I haven't seen how fast these guys work yet too. And also too, I'm just starting to think maybe I'm biting off more than I can chew with some of these things. Let's do the auxiliary workstation here. That's good. We do, whoa, 32 of each. Oh well, let's just keep doing it. Give it a try, give it a try. I mean, the importing is so far going really well. I'm not gonna lie, like, we've been importing so much, but we're also going to run out of uh, NFT currency, which is pretty much what you see. We have like nothing left in the treasury. Now, where are we storing the gold? I kind of ask. Like, is this a physical resource that we have or is it just kind of implied? New research tree has improved the previous. It seems as though enough improvements are being made. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. A lot of the things that I'm talking about are kind of like nitpicky. Digital. It's like cats and Kenshi. They just can be transferred through thin air, like credit card payments, you know, ACH clearinghouse transactions, or what is it? What is AC? ACH stands for what? Automated clearinghouse transaction. Yeah. You know how you pay for things with your credit card? It's not just magic like your mom told you when she had got the money out of the bank. Remember when you went to the bank and you thought that she just summoned dollars through magic? It's not a cult is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the bank is an occult. We have 141 citizens. Where are all of these people? Why are they coming in? We're not ready for this many people. <laughs> Uh, they wanted to study science. They wanted to, they would write. They would write and they wanted to study science. Would that it ever happened. Would that it ever happened. Hmm. Check the sell price for wood. Might want to get some of the trade research. Ah, maybe that would be good too. So then we could make more money. Hmm, trading. Let's find out. Yeah, actually, that was supposed to be one of the more overpowered technologies, right, at the beginning? Miscellaneous spoilage administration would it where would it be carpenter bonus that might be useful to us tailoring bonus there seems to be a bonus that you get to practically everything jewelry refining animal science i don't actually see the trading hmm city guard trade resources ah thank you under misc okay so here we go uh administration paved roads logistics maybe it's further along on the tree transports Oh, trade negotiations. So these three are like independent, separate, uh, but they look like they lead into each other, but they don't have the line between them, so they don't depend on one another. Okay, then that, that makes sense. Um, man, all of these things would be useful. Uh, we get plus 10% on bartering. Okay, so we get 10% more for all of our goods. That seems useful, yeah. And then we can also just keep on researching this, it seems, into getting... Oh, I just did two levels of it accidentally. Whoops, it easy. I don't think we can back down once we've already emptied up like that. <clears throat> but I don't know. I mean, I feel like that our civilization is pretty well set out. I've got masonry going. So how far off are we from upgrading then? Okay, so now we are going to hire the the masons. <laughs> uh, uh, accident occurred. Oh, yeah, this happens to people. Okay, so when they are, like, sick or in need of a doctor or something, it actually does appear on their sprite, and they look horribly maimed. I can't really tell what's going on, <laughs> but this guy is definitely not having a great day. Um, yeah, doctor, we just don't have one, and we don't have any of the research, so I'm pretty sure that he just has to, like, survive. Kind of rough it. Yeah, too bad. Like, get back up and keep working kind of thing. It's it's really unfortunate because it shouldn't be that way, but it, it is, unfortunately. <clears throat> and look at us now. We're actually saving up furniture, so this is fantastic. 18, 19, 20. What number will come next? Who even knows? 
Uh, also, too, it appears as if we don't have any vacancies and we're going to need to start creating more housing, for which reason more people will enthusiastically join our... I'm almost angry because it's sort of like... It's kind of like we have this immigration problem where, like, wherever these people are coming from, it must suck because it, it's not much better here. And, like, they just keep coming in and telling more people to come in. Like, it's great here. And then they're making it all worse for each other. And, the like, we as the government are trying to complete the delicate task of keeping civilization enjoyable for everyone. Like, while people keep kind of overhyping our civilization and we're trying to keep it down but like relatable though at the end of the day you know i'm pretty sure that this just costs us like wood and stone though right so yeah we have plenty of that i mean we're running out but <laughs> we have plenty of it for now we we definitely will run out of wood though don't get me wrong we will we will yeah i'm pretty sure it was just wood and stone pretty sure <laughs> pretty sure would you look at that? Eight cut stone. That's fantastic. Hmm. Okay, so we are going to need only 20 of that if we want to upgrade this thing. And I mean, like, what I'm ultimately working toward in all of these endeavors is to just get to the point where we can um, make more labs. So now we have, what is this, like 40 or 50 people who just poke the table all day? We made the, this is the Netherlands, I don't know what, this is so many different countries, stories. Any any civilization that did relatively well compared to, like, just the wilderness outside of it. Ah, uh, yes, actually, I hadn't considered that, altering the immigration rate. But at the same time, I feel like that we have incorporated these immigrants pretty well. So I'm just going to keep automatically accepting them until we get to, like, 40,000. Because, well, why not? I don't want to put a ceiling on it because they help me do more research. I'm complaining about something that is to say that I actually kind of like. Ah, no, these guys are fine. They didn't, Nobody got hurt. I would like to get a doctor. I mean, can you imagine, like, getting a work injury like that and just having to go home? That kind of suck. Like, things might never be the same. They might never be the same. Available services. So this is at load 100%. Okay, so it actually does show the whole area of... Hmm. How many subjects can be served? Radius 150. Hmm. Capacity 32. Okay, so clearly we need to build like five more wells. Because... Or four more wells. Because this is not, this is not enough. Capacity 32. We need a lot more of these. Now, I'm a little unclear on where exactly the well gets its water. Because I tried building a bunch of them near each other before. That didn't really work. Noise map mode. Oh, wait a minute. Where is the noise map mode? Yeah, you're right. Humans don't really love noise. It looks re relatively pleasant over there. I think that this amount of noise is completely fine. Oh, no, you know what I think it's coming from is... The noise is coming from places that are noisy. You know, five-head realization right there. But it seems to me that it comes out of the workshops, and it's very noisy, like, right at the front door of it. And then, ah, this is a very helpful to learn. This is very good. Thank you for saying that. I didn't know about the noise. Now, this just seems like such a strange thing to say, though, like noise causes a rebellion what we could have had yeah bigger roads probably would actually to be fair putting more space between things would have been a good idea what are you doing now you can follow a guy around not going to he's boring stupid life um hmm 1638. Okay, so we'll have a little bit more of a moment here, but at least these are good things to keep on our radius. Let's see what else there is. Law. Law radius. Harmony. Good enough. Dread. Aw. Space. Okay. Yeah, the space bit makes sense. That's where there's a lot of space. I guess not really as much out in the woods, but more in the fields. Oh, that's kind of neat. Wait a minute. No. Oh, no. The space requirement is still there. Okay. Interesting. Lighting. What about lighting? We haven't really lit anything. Homeless. Mm, fertility. I guess of like soil. Path usage was one that we knew. I think we did a pretty decent job with paths, but I, I think we should have made them bigger. Harvestable, we've seen that. 
maintenance we saw the maintenance map before this was covered in red squares but now seems to be doing a little bit better deposits that's just further out these kinds of things are deposits like stone and stuff like that we don't really want to mine in there we could get all dwarf fortressy but i don't really feel like that it would be kind of nice if that uh, adds some more ui because that doesn't really stand out as much oh wow so this is how you assign hotkeys just do anything that is nice juicy i did not know how you could do that but you can in that way build a wall around our industrial in district to contain the sound yeah now maybe that you mentioned that i will build some kind of like just industry area and have one big warehouse that supplies the materials so this was kind of like just our getting started civilization and like i feel as though with these considerations in mind but i probably would have done what is just i like having my people living here but I would have put the workshops into their own area, and I wouldn't have been as concerned with the efficiency. I would have been more concerned with just, like, dumbing everyone down a little bit. Let's go auto-employ herders there. Have we used up some of our... Yeah, we used up some of our livestock. That's nice. Um, So, I mean, I suppose that is to say, like, I feel as though we've done a lot of the things for building a civilization in this game. Um... I think that, where are we at now? We could do mass graves. No, I won't do a mass grave. Just like to celebrate the uh, celebrate the setting up of, <laughs> of a successful civilization, I'm going to set up a mass grave. We could move the throne. I'm not sure if that would really help us in any way. We've already got that. We didn't do a fishery. Why don't I try a fishery? See if we can get this going anywhere. So does this just like go over? This is a structure I have not yet created. Let's try it there. Storage. We'll make it smaller. We're going to have a humble fishery over here. But why not? I mean, we've gone all this way. We might as well. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we've got all of that stuff. This will be nice. Like another source of food along the riverside. Man, it seems as though you this would be a, a legitimate reason to depend upon the water because I was told by some of you guys that I really didn't need that. Oh, and also, too, we need the well. I believe it's under hygiene. Well. Well, well, well. <laughs> oh, God. That was so funny. There we go. Okay, Um, I think that's good. Just give them various other wells because life is dry. Because I have a dry sense of humor. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Where do I come up with these jokes? Pretty good. Pretty good for a human. Is there anything else that we have, like, completely neglected and anyone can see the oncoming destruction of our civilization that I've just missed for this thing? I don't know. I feel like I've done a decent job just... Kind of showing the very basics. I really don't feel like we got very far in the game. Um, but I kind of want to... You know, we didn't hit any weird bottlenecks. I'm going to go ahead and say that. Um, we are running out of money, so that's kind of a concern. But we have a lot of other goods, and I think we could sell off some of this stuff. Um, yeah, we don't have any military, because I, I said that at the beginning. We can assign a noble. Maybe we should do some of that. I'm thinking that we'll either, like... If I am to continue doing this game, I'll either continue this save and just kind of, like, label it as a new thing. Because serialize... Unless if I really have a plan, I don't really want to do a series again for a while. Um, or just start again and then be like, ah, here's all the things that we learned, here's what we would have changed. But I don't know, I, I'm definitely going to be wanting to revisit this one, because I gave it a lot of time and I'm liking it so far. Um... Don't necessarily need professional soldiery. I mean, it seems as though they could probably just fend for themselves. These people are tough, right? But there are games in which, like, people just kind of keel over and die whenever they get invaded. I'm more interested in just seeing how the well thing works. We seem to sort of have reached, like, a plateau on our population access. We are also running out of clothes, and there's other goods that we need that I'm afraid... What if we didn't get enough of them in time? Now, this isn't really feeding much of our population, but, well, at least it's adding to the food variety. It says that they're missing fish, but they'll probably be getting in some fish soon, I imagine. Yeah, look, now they've got one fish. Who of the 145 of us would like to eat the one fish? Any takers? Any takers? 
Now, it seems to me, the other thing that seems kind of bizarre in this game is that they just seem to put the raw food into these areas. <laughs> and then people just eat it. But I definitely think we need more of everything. But it looks like now, good, the service is improving. The capacity, capacity, okay, so they're getting started on more of them. But yeah, I think we just need to figure out how to scale this village more. Because I think that this is a village that would have accommodated the original people very well. But now we are starting to get to... Okay, good, so we're at 216% efficiency. Oh, and these ones are even higher too, themselves. Well, I think we're going to need to create like 40 more laboratories. Um, anyway, but there are like a bunch of obvious things that I'm just totally missing out on. Like, why are we service? Okay, so it's just the load from them. Maybe I'll try like some very dramatic tests where I try building like five wells right next to each other or something. Build kitchens with stoves and cooks. Oh, so I stand corrected. Maybe there are like more alternate food types that I just haven't even gotten to. Would that be under work? Crafting, refining, hunter, husbandry, fishery, farms. I'm not actually seeing that right here. Maybe it would be under, uh, not procreation, hygiene, mass grave. Who is farting over there? Oh, maybe it's like the canteen is where they get more involved stuff. Yeah, that would be the prepared meals rather than just, here's your raw meat for today. Sensible. Okay, sensible. I mean, like... Ooh, they've actually improved the whole floor on this area. Okay, so this is what I was talking about before when I said that sometimes they will improve their homes. And actually, I, I don't want you to go without that satisfaction. So, if you see this flooring, it's just like dirt. But here, they have upgraded the lab and they have improved it to wood. So this is good. Um, but in this one, they're still stuck in like the sand age. I think if, if I were to do this all again, I would just make a, a lot more furniture. A lot more furniture. Because they always seem to need more. That and maybe like a little bit more specialized stockpiles. I might give this like a, like a look because I feel as though this civilization could continue. I'm going to go ahead and save this one as... I'm just going to call this YouTube 1. Because I may come back to this one. I may. And maybe like start as another thing like now that you've got your colony set up because I feel as though there's so many getting started videos on this game that that was all I could find when I was looking up information for it but I wanted to know more I had more intricate questions so um, without any further ado I actually am gonna end it there because uh, I have another commitment today um, but this has been a lot of fun wow we got a thousand forty two people watching songs of six which is basically an Excel spreadsheet 